Hi, BookTube. It's Gina, and I'm here today to do my TBR for Jane Austen July. Yay! I'm really excited to be here. This is my first year participating in Jane Austen July with my own channel, so I'm really excited to be able to talk about it with you and participate in the prompts and, of course, to read Jane Austen because that is what it's all about. Um, this month is hosted by Marissa at Blatantly Bookish, Katie from Books and Things, and Claudia at Spinster's Library. And I will, of course, link all of their channels and the prompts down below. Now, I'm gonna have to make this a little bit short and sweet because we are having a terrible heat wave here in the Pacific Northwest. It was 108 degrees yesterday, which is just unprecedented for this area. And I've turned all my fans off, so it's gonna get really hot in here really quickly. Um, so the prompts for this are, read one of Jane Austen's six main novels. And for that, I am going to start with Persuasion. Uh, this is probably, well, this might be the copy that I read. I've also got this on my Kindle. I've got them all on my Kindle, and so I might read it on my Kindle because I love that. But I've also got this beautiful cloth-bound classic that I love. Um, my collection, my Jane Austen collection is here. and I've got multiples of everything. And oops, I had this upside down, I just realized. Um, and this month is very difficult for me to not just buy all the books. There are so many beautiful editions of, of Jane Austen novels. So I'm really having to restrain myself as I'm watching everyone's TBRs to not just buy every single beautiful edition because there are a lot of them. Um, if I if I get through that and I have some time left over, I'd also like to get to Northanger Abbey. This will sort of be my backup. I've got this beautiful edition um, here, and then I've also got one of these old paperbacks that I just I love. I think these old paperbacks are so pretty. I have a feeling this might be a bridged. It's published by the New American Library, and so oftentimes these little paperbacks don't tell you when they're abridged. And this one, did, oh, carefully selected, edited, and printed. So I'm guessing, I don't know, but I won't read this one, but I just, I think it's really, really pretty. Um, so that's my, my main, um, reading one of her main novels, prompt number one. Prompt number two is to read something that is not one of her main novels. And this is so exciting for me because I did not actually realize that Jane Austen had all of this, this extra uh, writing that is, some of it's not completed, um, but I've got, um, I bought a bind up on my Kindle that includes love and friendship and a whole bunch of her juvenilia. And then I also just bought this edition of the Watsons, Lady Susans, and Sanditon. So I'd like to read all of these. This is a short little uh, book. It's only a little over 200 pages. I'm definitely going to read Lazy, Lazy Susan, Lady Susan. Um, and if I can read this whole book, I will certainly do that because I'm just really excited about having something new by Jane Austen to read. It's kind of like going to Disneyland when there's a new ride that you've never been on before. It's very, very exciting. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I make it to some of the juvenilia and love and friendship on my Kindle. Of course, if time, I'm gen generally overly optimistic when I plan my reading. Um, uh, prompt number three is read a nonfiction work about Jane Austen or her time. And for this one, I'm going to read Jane Austen, A Life by Claire Tomlin. I've seen this one all over the place, but Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading has just raved about how wonderful this book was, how she read it last year, and it was one of her favorite books of the year, not just of Jane Austen July. So I'm looking forward to reading this. And isn't that cover? Pretty. I just ordered this um, one 
for this month. So I am buying some of the books. And then prompt number four is read a book by a contemporary of Jane Austen. And for this one, I've got two options uh, for this one also. Um, the first one and the one that I'm, I really want to, to read is A Country Person, James Woodford's Diary, 1759 to 18. Oh, two. And this is, of course, a nonfiction diary of a country person. Isn't that fantastic? This is an illustrated copy, which I just got off of Thrift Books for like $5. It's amazing. Um, and it's a beautiful illustrated edition. And I'm really looking forward to digging into this. Um, here's just some examples. I, I'm not sure if this is mentioned, if this is art, but um, lots of lots of great illustrations in this one also. Um, so I'm planning to read that, but I do also have Evelina. I've been wanting to read this. This has been on my TBR shelf for a long time. So I'm, I might read this one. It's a little bit longer and the font is a little bit smaller and I may not have time to get to this, but this is sort of my, another um, extra that I would like to get to if I have a chance. Um, and the next prompt is read a retelling of a Jane Austen book. And I have to say, I'm not super fond of retellings. Book retellings are, are usually okay. Um, this is Bridget Jones diary. I may not get to this prompt. Um, but if I do, I would like to, to get to this. Um, I realized also that um, there is a um, Emma retelling by Alexander McCall Smith, who is an author that I really enjoy. I thought I might pick that one up. Um, so I did a little bit of research and it sounds like the uh, Borough Press did a Austin project where they were planning to do a retelling of all six of the novels. They only got through four and it sounds like it fell a little bit flat and Emma's got, it's got pretty terrible reviews. So I may not do that one. I, I might just stick with Bridget Jones and I just, I love this cover. I think this is a beautiful addition. Um, and I don't think I've either, I've not read this or I have not read it in a long, long time. So that is uh, an option. Um, I don't know about you guys, but retellings for me, can sometimes be problematic. I, I went to this is sort of an off topic retelling story, but I went to the opera a few years ago. I had a season ticket. I went by myself because I could not persuade anybody to go to the opera with me. And I saw Mozart's uh, was, was one of the, the um, ones they were putting on. It was Cozy Fantuti. And they decided to stage it in the present time. So of course the libretto and everything was the same, but they staged it with current outfits and in the, in the present time. And the story of that is, is men trying to, two men trying to coerce the other's girlfriend into cheating on him. And things that I can really forgive in an opera that was written in the 1700s, were really, really not fun to watch in the 2000s. Um, it was, it was just felt really, really schmarmy to me. And so I sometimes with some retellings think that they don't benefit from being brought into the current time. So I think Bridget is a good example of one that's done well because it's, it's so loosely based. Honestly, I don't necessarily even remember that it's a retelling most of the time when I watch the movie. Um, and I have a feeling that, that the Emma and the, the Burroughs press retellings were more along the let's keep the story more similar. And I think they don't, didn't fare very well uh, based on that. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit on the fence when it comes to, to retellings. Um, however, I do plan to watch a screen adaptation and I do want to watch the Rupert Penry Jones and Shelley Hawkins adaptation of Persuasion because yummy Rupert. And um, 
modern retelling, I think it's not really a retelling. So again, I think it would be fine. I'm going to watch the Jane Austen book club um, and see how, see how I get along with that. I'm a fairly cold hearted old hag. I, I don't really have much romance in my soul. So some of the uh, rom-com movies fall a little flat with me. I'm usually hoping that people don't get together in the end or that somebody dies. I'm sure nobody's going to die in the Jane Austen book club, but, um, but so we'll see. We'll see. Um, I know I seem very nice here on, on booktube, but I do have a, a non-romantic tendency. So we'll see how I get along with, uh, with the movie. Um, so that is my plan for Jane Austen July. I'm super excited to participate and I will see you next time. Bye.